part two here. So um, the next thing I was going to talk about was um, actually making your shopping list and a few tips about when you go into the store and shop. Um, so as you're going through your ad, like I was mentioning earlier, circling the things that you want, you're going to start to make your shopping list. Now, um, I usually forget some things, like I'll circle them and then not write them in my shopping list. So that's something that you want to, uh, you want to take your ad with you. That way, in case you do or you think you're forgetting something, you can take a look at your ad and see everything that you circled. Um, and then that'll uh, refresh your memory and you can uh, keep on saving some more money. Um, then, as you're shopping, you first want to stick by your list. Um, I have my list here I was talking about earlier. It only has a few things. It has milk, eggs, bacon, the buy one get one free um, suave shampoo, Boost, two of them, the Kotex, and the ball uh, uh, fruit canning mixes. What is that? Milk? Mike? Oh yeah, Mike. Um, and then I have all the coupons that I'm going to use in here. So I really don't need to look uh, at the coupons that I'm going to use. But I usually do anyways. That way I know what size I'm getting, uh, how many, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. I have my boost coupons. I have my shampoo coupons and everything else that I, I think I need. Yeah. Um... So writing everything that you circle on your list is a, is a big, big help. Um, next thing is when you go into the store and shop, obviously I'm like 99% sure that everybody impulse shops. So the thing that you can do to try to help you not to impulse shop as much is to shop the perimeter of the store. Uh, the perimeter of the store is the the produce, the milks, eggs, and cheese, ham, meats, chicken, and then um, everything that would basically uh, be on everybody's shopping list. Everything in the middle is just extra junk that they want you to buy. That's why on the end caps, which is the end of the aisle, they always have the sales. Um, buy me now kind of signs and stuff that way you look at it um, get drawn to it want to buy it and then you'll just keep on going into the aisle and see, seeing what else you can buy um, if you have it on your list that's a good guidance to uh, know what you're going to get uh, how many you're getting and all that good stuff and I make my list by the outline of the store. I have my milk, eggs, and bacon first and then I have my shampoo and everything on the bottom which is at the in the middle of my store. Now sometimes I will go backwards if I know I'm gonna take a little bit long that way I, I get my eggs, milk, and cheese last and they don't spoil in the cart or anything. Um, and then another tip is also to um, know your buy price or know the sale the store's uh, price for example a buy one get one free sale now usually um, this will happen with um, chips that's a good example usually they're less than 250 but a lot of the times you will see chips on sale two for five is that a sale? No, not really. It's a regular price. They're just combining the two of this for one low price of five dollars. You know what I mean? So try to make a mental note. It'll it'll be hard at first, but once you get the hang of it and you start shopping at H E B more often, you'll know their their regular price, their sale price, their sale price their um, clearance price 
um, and then you'll you'll know to stay away from the two for five or the buy one get one free they might raise the price of the buy one uh, making you think that it's a better deal because you're getting one free actually they raise the price a dollar so you're actually uh, paying for one and like 75 percent and you're just getting like this much free really so that's another tip that um, you want to stay away from now HEB usually has their store coupons on the end caps so you want to make sure that you're taking a good look at it and make sure that it really is a sale for example uh, I didn't see the price on these so I'm kind of excited to go in and see what the price is I grabbed this coupon today a dollar off of two Betty Crocker hamburger helpers or chicken helpers or twin helpers okay now most of us have um, a coupon for a dollar off three or four. Now this is a dollar off two, fifty cents a, bo a box. Now I know that the regular price for Hamburg Helper is about one fifty. I'm hoping that um, they're at one fifty or less. See, because if it's at one fifty. Um, 150 times 2 minus the dollar off 2 divided by 2 that makes them a dollar each which is pretty good I'm hoping they're on an additional sale let's say 125 if they're 125 times 2 minus the dollar uh, divided by 2 that makes them 75 cents each and right now um, at Walgreens they're 99 cents so I can either go to Walgreens to get them for 99 cents and use my I think it's a dollar off of three let's see 99 cents times three minus a dollar divided by three that's 65 cents each so that's 10 cents cheaper uh, only if HEB has them um, for what was it 125 125 oh wrong coupon <laughs> this coupon um so uh, once you start shopping you'll you'll get the hang of it definitely well i i have and i've been shopping at hb all my life okay uh last thing i wanted to share with y'all is the stouffer's meal deal um like i mentioned before each week or every few weeks hb will have a meal deal uh, where you buy one or two uh, name brand items and you'll get a whole bunch of HEB or um, other name brand items for free okay so this right here you buy the stove the lasagna the parmigiana and then you get uh, eight dollars and seven cents in free food and, it, and it's good food it's the juice uh, bread um, lettuce which there's hardly ever any coupons for produce you know that right um, now the Stouffer's is $9.98 okay so if you were to buy everything regular price no coupon plus uh, 8, oh, 807 that's $18.05 let me write that down something so just one meal deal is well one meal deal with no coupon is 1805 now when you use the meal deal you're only going to be paying let's see regular price meal deal you're only going to be paying nine what 98 i think i put okay um now if you head on over to couponnetwork.com um, that's another another promotion that how long have I been? Ten minutes. Okay. Another promotion or website that HEB partners with. They are the people that print out or one of the people that print out the Catalina coupons. Catalina coupons are just like um, the machine that prints out your register rewards at Walgreens. Uh, I don't think I have one here. No, I don't. I think it's my coupon binder. 
Anyways, um, Catalina's just printed out separate from your receipt for a coupon off um, your purchase, uh, your next purchase, a dollar uh, or dollars off a specific item, HEB brand, anything really. Uh, free Redbox movie codes or box tops for education too. Um, so if you go to that website, you can see what Catalina's will print if you buy such and such items. For example, um, if you buy, I know that there's, if you buy uh, four uh, Dole fruits, selected varieties, so the variety will be different for your store. Mine was the pineapple. So if I buy four pineapple uh, fruit cans, I get a coupon for 75 cent off my next purchase of H-E-B branded items. You can see your little head. Um, now that's a good deal, but you can also combine or make your uh, original purchase with coupons. I know there's a 50 cent off to Dole Fruit. I see them, Mama. They look so cute. Yeah. Pretty. Grandma did it. Here, take us to the bathroom. Here you go. Okay, go. Go. One. Go. Two. Okay. Um, sorry. So, I took a look, um, I take a look at that website every once in a while to yeah. see if there's anything that I'm going to buy already. Um, then look for a coupon and see if I can get a really good deal on that. Um, there is a, they're called your bucks. There's a your bucks offer for uh, two Redbox movie codes when you buy one Stouffer's uh, family meal and a Toll House um, cookie dough ready to put in the oven type of thing, right? Um, so that's two dollars in free movies, right? Two dollars. So, um, after you make that purchase, it'll print out a Catalina with your two uh, movie codes on there. Now, um, it gets better because there is a dollar twenty-five off of two um, Nestle Toll House on on their website or on the coupon network. I don't remember which one it was, but it's a dollar twenty-five off, and I think those run about two. 50 to 60. Um, then there is also, it gets better, a 75 cent off coupon for Stouffer's off of their website. So now you're getting uh, two free movies, 75 cent off the meal deal, and 125 off of two of the Nestle Toll House cookies. Um, so that's a pretty good savings. Let's see, uh, one, let me get my calculator, 75 and 125, that's $2. It's a $2 savings. And you're still getting all of the, the four items free from the stove fridge, right? Okay, now take a look, you're, what are you paying? Now you're paying, let's see, $9.98. Plus, let's say the 250 and you have to buy two because the coupon is a dollar 75 off of two so now you're paying 1498 okay uh, let's put the uh, cookie with the cookies you're paying 1498 okay but the Nestle Toll House uh, meal deal was off of two okay so what i did is i bought an additional stouffer's um product the i think i got the meaty lasagna so that's an additional 9.98 uh, and i also have another 75 cent off of that stouffer's and guess what i get with the stouffer's i get uh, my mama. You wanna watch Mickey Mouse? Okay, after I'm done. I get an additional 